Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Take home example, y is equal to e to the power 2x a plus b a. Similar thing here, there are two variables a and b, so differentiate twice, so let's do the differentiation. y does becomes e to the power 2x, or let's uh, expand this because it has x b x components. So it is a into the e to the power 2x plus b into x e to the power 2x. So a into e to the power 2x will depend a into the power 2x into 2. Correct? That's what you will get if you differentiate this guy. Plus, no other challenge is this guy. You have to apply the product rule here. So this becomes differentiate x that becomes 1 into e to the power 2x plus you keep x constant differentiate e to the power 2x that becomes e to the power 2x into correct so that's what you get so this guy is 1 and if you want to solve this further or you want to keep this uh, e to the power 2x and e to the power 3x in one shot so what you get here is 2 e to the power 2x is one place. Here I'll put 1 that is a plus bx plus this guy becomes e to the power x e to the power 2x into b. Same thing, just rearrange this. Now this is y dash. Now I have to find y double dash also. Correct? So let's find y double dash. Or if you want to make your life simple, you observe that this whole guy is y itself. So you need not differentiate once again. So what you get, you differentiate, but it will be simple for you. So this becomes 2y plus b into the power 2x. So now if you differentiate, double differentiate that you have to do anyway, that becomes 2y, that becomes 2y dash plus 2 into b e to the power 2x. This is my final solution actually. The only thing I have to do is I have to replace this guy b because as I told earlier also I had this equation in terms of y, I got y dash, I got y double dash. I told this is my final equation. I have to find a and b using these two equations. So here also I have to find using a and b using these two equations. So let's see if I can find b. I can find b actually because if you see in this equation y is equal to b is equal to from this equation, if you see, b into the power by 2x is nothing but y dash minus 2y. So I'll replace this guy here. So this becomes 2y dash plus 2 into y dash minus 2y. And there is nothing but y double dash. And this is my final equation. So if you rearrange this properly, this becomes y double dash minus 2y and 2y minus 4y dash and minus 4y, if you come take this side, it becomes 4y. And that is my answer. Correct? That's how it is. Not a different question. It's easy question only. We have y. We found y dash, we found y double dash, and then using these two equations, we found the value of b, right? And then place it here, and this is my final equation. We'll take one more example. So, here also we have seen we have two variables a and b. So, that means you have to find y dash and y double dash. That's for sure. So, let's do that first. And then we'll see how we can find the final equation. y dash is nothing but e to the power x a cos x will become a sin x a e to the power minus sin x yeah minus sin x so if you see this is how it is I'll tell you this is this form e to the power a outside e to the power x cos x plus 
b into e to the power x sin x. So now since there are two uh, variables in terms of x, we have to apply a product rule. So first we wrote this fashion, let me write in this fashion to be more specific. A is constant. First I'll take this constant, differentiate this guy. So this becomes e to the power x, cos x becomes minus sin x. Then I'll take uh, this guy constant and differentiate this guy. So this becomes e to the power x, differentiation of this and cos x is cos x also. Similarly for b, I will take this guy constant, differentiate this guy, e to the power x, differentiation of sin x is cos x plus now I will differentiate this guy, e to the power x, differentiate e to the power x and sin x I will take constant. That's how it is. So if you actually uh, arrange this e to the power x, e to the power, all are about to the power e to the power x only, this is a cos x, right? And then you have b sin x. Here you have minus a sin x and b cos x. So let us rearrange this by taking cos x and sin x part common. So my y dash is nothing but I'll take e to the power x is anyway common for all. So I'll take this guy outside, right? For cos x, I have this guy and this guy and both are plus. So that becomes a plus b cos x, correct? For sin x, for sin x, I have this guy and this guy, that is b and a, where my b is positive and a is negative, right? So this becomes plus b minus a sin x. So this is what I get is y dash, correct? Now I have to find y double dash. So for y double dash, if you see, it's almost same as this here, it is a plus b, a and b, here it is a plus b and b minus a. So let's just find y double dash first. y double dash will be, in this case, you have a plus b common, e to the power x cos x, first you differentiate e to the power x, that becomes e to the power x, cos x is constant, plus e to the power x common constant, and cos x you differentiate, it becomes minus sin x, right? And this is again plus b minus a is constant. And e to the power x sin x we have now. You take e to the power x, uh, differentiate e to the power x, sin x constant plus differentiate e to the power x, you get e to the power x only. And sin x differentiate, you get cos x. That is what you get. That is y double dash. Correct. So here also, now we have so many cos x sin x. So let's again uh, merge this, those values, e to the power x common. Cos x what we have now, so let's see cos x into, you get a plus b, a plus b and this is plus b minus a, plus b minus a, right? The whole thing is into cos x, plus you talk about sin x part, you have b minus a, b minus a and then you have minus of a plus b, minus of a plus b. This is what you get, correct? So if you see this, this guy A and A cancel, you get 2B here and this in this case B and B cancels, right? So what you get here is e to the power x into cos x into 2A, right? Into 2A minus you get sin x into 2A. Sorry, here you will get, here you get 2b, 2b, here you get 2a. Correct. So, or you can say that, you can take 2 also common. So, you get, is equal to 2 into e to the power x into b cos x minus a sin x. And that is nothing but my y double dash. Correct. Or to make simple life my simple, I'll just make this by 2 is equal to this by 2. So this is gone. Correct. So I have three equations. Y is equal to this value, my first equation. 
y dash is equal to this value my second equation and y double dash is equal to this value my third equation so now from these three equations, I have to form equation such a way that a and b is gone correct so let's see what will happen if, if you see my y is of this form a e to the power x cos x b e to the power sin x and y dash by 2 is of this form e to the power x b cos x minus a sin x so add these two guys you may get this guy y dash so let's do that y plus y dash by 2 double dash by 2 is nothing but e to the power x b cos x this guy minus a sin x plus y y is this guy e to the power x a cos x plus b sin x plus b sin x so if you take sin x cos x part common so this becomes cos x becomes a plus b right a plus b cos x a plus b cos x plus b minus a sin x correct plus b minus b sin x so if you observe this guy this guy is nothing but equal to this guy y dash so this guy is nothing but y dash if you see e to the power x a plus b cos x e to the power x a plus b cos x e to the power x b minus s x e to the power x b minus s x so what we observed that from by observation we found that y plus y double dash by 2 is y dash and that is my equation correct so you want to solve this further you get y double dash minus 2y dash minus sorry plus 2y that's what you get so nothing great also in this question the only thing is we have to find y y dash y double dash so we have three equations we can just uh, or we could have done this way also we could have we have y and we have y dash two, two equation from this we could have find the value of a and b and put in this equation my this final equation but that was a little difficult for me right because finding a and b is difficult because this guy is term of a plus b form and this guy is a form it was a little difficult for me so what i did was i just used these equations and arranged in such a way that i got the answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.